My name is Kevin Tanner. I shape custom surfboards in Charlestown, Rhode Island. Didn't really decide to do this. I just, I'd been shaping myself a few boards here and there off and on. Since I was like 15, I made a couple boards for myself and next thing I know, I had a whole stack of orders. <laughs> I met Kevin maybe five or six years ago, pretty much down at the local beach. And that's around the same time he started making boards, was maybe four years ago. And uh, right in his first batch of blanks, like all of us Groms were ordering one. This used to be a, like a sacred craft and like knowledge was passed from master to apprentice kind of thing. Information was pretty scarce before all the internet boom and whatnot in the last few years and it's a, just a lot of trial and error. He's been a really kind of influential artist around here as far as his art and his boards and I've always taken kind of an interest in that. Kevin really knows the waves around here. So talking to someone that knows my surfing, knows what I'm looking for and can help me pick out the right board for that and then shape that is just a, a much better experience. Always just saw like his handmade shapes and you know as someone that makes stuff I was always interested in kind of keeping up with what he was making. I had ideas for a long board that I wanted to make myself but I didn't quite have the technical skills to really bang it out so at that point I just asked Kevin um, his thoughts kind of on this. I thought it was helpful that, you know, that he knew me and I was able to kind of vocalize what I wanted out of the board. It's kind of cool being in the room, being able to pick out the outline, you know. You just change like little things and you can make all sorts of weird combinations and take as much time as you like. And The surfer-shaper relationship is a strong aspect to all of this and improving your boards and finding out how they work in the water. Since the first board and getting that and riding that, it, be it became a dialogue back and forth of what the next one's gonna be, how this one felt, how I was surfing on it. Yeah, that whole process is something you don't really do quite as much. But the guy selling you the surfboard in, in the shop because he didn't shape the board. Shop local, man. <laughs> yeah. You just pick up a board that he made and uh, it almost seems like it came straight off of a machine. You know, they're, uh, they're, they're great boards. I recommend them to anyone. A lot of local word of mouth too, just yeah, because I've surfed around here for a long time and know a lot of people and making boards for my friends and stuff is people started seeing them around in the water and they'd uh, either ask them about them or I'd see them a couple days later and they're like, hey, there's so many boards the other day. You see it more than ever now. It's it's like once you start dishing out a couple of boards, you know, like I have a board with serial number like four on it. And like in the span of a year, he's like, he's well over a hundred. You know, you start seeing the boards everywhere. And even if you travel up the coast, you'll see them, you know, anywhere from Connecticut to sometimes even New Jersey. And it's rad seeing other people out there getting good waves on something that you made. Yeah, it's a cool feeling. I never, yeah, I didn't really anticipate this being able to turn into like basically a full-time job around here. And uh, it was, yeah, it was a total like happy accident that this snowballed the way that it did and I'm just kind of rolling with it and 
seeing how far I can take it. <laughs>